All right, Schlagmeister fans, we are watching a 80s horror movie, The Mutilator. Let's check it out. All right, this is little Ed, Ed Jr., and he's going to clean his father's guns for Daddy's birthday. What a good son. Of course, it's all fun and games until you accidentally shoot your mother. When Ed Sr. gets home, he's obviously a little distraught. After his slapping his son around a little bit, he drags mom into the den and has a drink over her corpse. Hell, he even pours the drink for good old mom. Ed is 10 years older and grown up and in college. It's fall break. Somehow, he gets a call at the bar from his father who says, Come and close my uh, summer home up. Well, he's going to close it up and he's going to invite his friends to join him. Anyway, they arrive at the beach. Unbeknownst to them, Ed Sr. is lurking, hiding, waiting. But I think he's having a flashback too. Or perhaps just dreaming of killing his son. He also fantasizes about cutting his son's throat. I guess he has some rage inside of him, the whole mom incident. He's hiding in the garage, and now the kids are exploring it a little bit. They stumble upon dear old dad. The nights are filled with strolls on the beach and Monopoly. If you look closely, that's a French Monopoly set. There's a pool nearby that's covered by this big tarp, and two of them decide to go swimming, skinny dipping. We get our film's only nude scene here. Hey, where did everybody go? Well, there's a slow echo in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the boyfriend goes away for a little bit. The killer strikes from below. So while the Dolby boyfriend isn't paying attention, somehow the killer steps out of the pool carrying a dead body. This dude missed it all. He goes to look for her and finds Big Ed instead. Local cop, meet Big Ed. They're playing some weird hide-and-seek you know, game. I'm really worried about Mike and Linda. They've been gone so long. Hey, don't worry about Mike and Linda. They're just having a good time enjoying each other's company. You know, it has been a pretty long week for all of us, and they're just relaxing. Okay? <laughs> now, it's a little dark, but Big Ed is putting up, uh, putting up all the bodies in the garage or hanging them on hooks or whatever. Little Benny Hill action. But Ralph isn't going to come back for those boobs. Sue went out looking for Ralph, finds Big Ed instead. Ed throws her down on a table and grabs his big hook and threw. 
Sue does not recover from this. Fam and Ed find her a few minutes later. And they find the rest of the bodies, and then it's a showdown with Big Ed. Big Ed versus Little Ed. stabbed him. Even though she staked him, he's still alive and trying to axe his way into their car. Eventually they knock him to the ground and she is going to crush him against the wall. The cop comes, tells her to pull forward, and now we find that Ed is in two pieces. Ed's still got a little life in him though. <laughs> Our movie ends with one final scene of Pam and Ed in the hospital, convalescing from their wounds. All right, let's talk about The Mutilator. Man, I've had this movie a long, long time in my collection. Originally rented this probably back in 1986. Rented it, I think, from a place called The Box Office, TBO. I even remember their phone number, 682-6827, 415 area code, Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Anyway, it was in the Mid-Cities Mall. Long gone. The mall's gone, too. But anyway, I digress. The Mutilator. Um, it's a horror movie from 1984, and it stars uh, virtually nobody. And um, it starts out, uh, this kid maybe 11 years old, was cleaning his dad's guns, and he accidentally shot his mom, killed her. Uh, well, dad wasn't happy about it. Anyway, fast forward about 10 years. The kid, Ed, Ed Jr., is now in college, and um, he's, I guess, had an abrasive uh, relationship with his dad ever since. Understandable. Um, and uh, he's in college, and his dad calls him at a bar, I think it was, actually, and said, hey, I need you to close down my uh, cabin. He's got a basically a cabin on in, uh, it's in it's like Atlantic Beach North Carolina I think is where this was filmed it's supposed to be on an island but in reality I think it was just on a beach it's a beachfront property there and he wants him to close it up for the summer so he decides to go on a, a fall break that's what the alternate title of this movie is fall break and he goes there with his friends and buddies and you know there's what six of them five or six of them they go out there to basically shut the place off have a final weekend and then just kind of shut the place down and they're done well once they get there they uh, discover or we discover that dad ed senior has decided now all these years to take revenge on his son as well as all of his son's friends and start killing them off one by one um he puts this hook in one of the one of the ladies there um uh, what else did he do anyway he just starts killing these these people off one by one um ultimately we're left with two people at the end ed and uh pam and um uh, they get into a scuffle with him. Ed Sr. stabs his son. They were hiding this like garage type thing. Stabs him in the leg, but he doesn't die. Ultimately, um, they're in a car and they end up basically running over Ed Sr. Ed Sr. was trying to like break into their car. They kind of got flipped to the front and then the girl, Pam, uh, steps on the gas and crushes Ed Sr. into this wall, cutting him in two, literally cutting him in two. And then there's a hilarious scene there where the cop goes over to investigate because, you know, Ed Sr.'s in two pieces and presumably he'd be dead by now but i guess he still had a little life in him because he took this sickle when the cop came over and cut off the chop chopped off the cop's legs which was fantastic he's only a torso at this point but he's still got enough strength to cut off the leg of a cop uh, crazy but yeah anyway that's how the movie ends uh, uh pam and ed go to the hospital and presumably they're recovering from their injuries and that's it so anyway that's our movie um uh kind of a low death count here but uh, the mutilator got them all except his son and, and the chick that his son wanted there um uh this movie i remember watching it back in the day and i was a little disappointed with it maybe it was a little little slow i thought not enough gore or whatever but i think this movie's kind of grown on me a little bit over the years i i think i enjoy it a little better now and kind of just accept it as a, a kind of a classic 80s slasher film uh the gore sequences are actually pretty good 
Um, I, I thought, I mean, there's a decapitation in this in this movie as well. I think there was a cop who got decapitated. Yeah, the gore is pretty good. A um, couple brief nude scenes from this girl, uh, Frances Rains, who was uh, in the swimming pool. A couple topless scenes there. Uh, you might remember Frances Rains. I think she was nude in uh, Breeders, if you've seen that movie. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the Mutilator. I believe this Arrow Blu-ray here. It's completely uncut. There's a ton of extras on here. Audio commentary with Buddy Cooper, the director. Now, just so happens, I was looking this up on Wikipedia today just to get a little background on it. And Buddy Cooper uh, said, or it's been announced that he's going to be making a sequel to this movie. This was announced in December of 2021, just a couple of months ago. And they're allegedly filming this in 2022. And they got the original actress who played Pam, one of the survivors, to uh, reprise her role, apparently. I, I guess it's a reprisal. Anyway, she's uh, scheduled to be in it. Incidentally, Ed, the guy who played Ed Jr. is not going to be in this, so who knows where they're going with this. Obviously, this is 38 years later now, so Pam was probably in her 60s, mid-60s at this point, so who knows where they're going. But Buddy Cooper, who's one of the co-directors of this movie, is uh, directing the new one. I hope it comes. I hope it comes. I hope it gets off the ground. It'd be kind of fun to see this again. But anyway, filmed in North Carolina and uh, decent gore, a couple little brief nude scenes. And yeah, the mutilator on this Arrow DVD or Blu-ray DVD and Blu-ray combo actually looks fantastic. This is the one you should get. Um, like I said, a whole bunch of extras on it. There's a story of the mutilator. I think that's where they uh, did. There's a documentary where they go back to the original uh, sites and everything. So yeah, I kind of enjoyed this one. Like it's kind of like a slow burn, but it gets you and there's some good scenes. So check it out. Let me know what you think about the mutilator watch it bye